I absolutely love Facebook. I've got like 4,523 friends on there now, which is weird really, because in real life, I've only ever really had one friend. Trisha, who worked with me down the chippy. Guess what, right? She's got like an extra finger growing on her left hand like that. Cost her a fortune in nail polish. But she was the fastest wrapper of chips in there. But her extra finger kept adding a naught on the till. So they sacked her. She was well upset. She took all her clothes off and was like running around the chippy with a battered sausage in each ear. And then she was sectioned. Set. Just enjoy yourself, be yourself, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, look at me, not at the camera. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, Jenny, would you consider it important to wear a dust mask in the working environment? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me about health and safety. <laughs> um, no, um, they're a good idea. Uh, they can be a bit fiddly to put on sometimes, and if you want to talk to someone, you might forget to put it back on afterwards. Um, but, uh, no, um, they're helpful, I'm sure. <laughs> Do you wear a mask in dusty working environments? Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of the time. Well, sometimes. Um, I actually find them quite uncomfortable. And have you noticed any impact on your health over the last five years? No, not really. I mean, some of the other lads, they cough a lot, but you know, they're probably on like 40 fags a day or something. <laughs> Outside of work, would you say you lead a healthy lifestyle? Yeah, I guess so. I eat pretty healthily and I like having my friends around the house, but... Uh... Where do you see yourself in 10 to 15 years time? I the bloody thing myself. Just give your mum a call. Let her hear your voice. It's not my voice she actually wants to hear. She's no better than the freaks that get off on these films. It's not who I am that actually matters. It's who they want me to be. Oi. Just tell her I'm fine. I know exactly what you're going through. I was reading this story in Peg's paper. It's about a beautiful Russian princess and a groom who's a simple peasant, just like you. Well, not that you're simple, of course. Anyway, one day they were riding through the woods and she fell off a thoroughbred stallion. Well, he thought she was dead, so he knelt down to pick her up. And when he did, she slowly opened her eyes and he went mad with desire and kissed her on the steps. That's the Russian steps, not the palace steps. <laughs>